disclaimer, this video is no way affiliated or endorsed by TFCon and was made for entertainment purposes only. This October 20th through the 22nd, TFCon Orlando at Doubletree by Hilton Hotel Orlando at SeaWorld with special guests Bob Budiansky, Victor Caroli, Dan Gilvison, Gary Chalk, Richard Newman, Alex Milne, David Sobloff, and Casey Kohler. Meet mediocre YouTubers, Bert the Stormtrooper, Deluxe Baldwin, Diecast Norbs, Engineer Hoist, Fire Talks, Ghost Prime, Kato's Collection, Patriot Prime, Rodimus Primal, and Treebot. If you see them, make sure and say hi. You'll most likely find them at the bar. That's TFCon Orlando in October. Be there! Diecast Norbs is a channel devoted to the team to adult toy collector, pop culture fans, and fellow nerd enthusiasts. This is a PG-13 channel. I might say some- WHAT?! Viewer and parental discretion is advised. Hello to all of my hooligans out there in the multiverse. Welcome to another episode of Diecast North Galactic Hooligan. And today, things are actually going to be infested with a little bit of bugginess because we have finally got Bombshell here from Transformers Legacy Evolution. We have actually gotten him over here looking amazing on the box already. Great art as always. Again, whoever is actually making the art for these or for these figures is just super fantastic. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a look at his beady eyes right over here. And everything that we actually have over here complete with Evo Fusion. You know, this guy is actually really awesome. A great addition. I hope that you all have actually come here with the most gigantic uh, kind of raid because we are actually going to be checking out some Insecticons today. Welcome everybody, one and all, and let's get over to the stage. Things are just happening to become a little bit more creepy and crawly with the addition of Bombshell here, and this is just super fantastic. Finally, we have the final part of our Insecticon crew over here. We have Kickback Shrapnel and now Bombshell, who is actually rounding out this crew so much and everything great. We actually have our last of the of the ancillary versions of the Insecticons. Now we just need the Deluxe Insecticons. We've already got Ransack, who I haven't reviewed yet. I'm pretty sure I'll actually get over to it sooner or later and everything, but like the elephant in the room about this whole entire set is that where we actually have Shrapnel over here and Kickback over here able to carry their weapons right underneath their bellies, uh, Bombshell over here does not. He is actually really cool though, nonetheless. He shares a bit of the architecture right over here with uh, Shrapnel. And as you can actually see, the backs are pretty much the same, but that's pretty much where it actually ends for Bombshell. I just wanted to give a quick size comparison between Bombshell and uh, his other brethren right over here, and really, they look freaking amazing. If you're an Insecticon, today is actually one of the best days to live and everything because you actually have the full set right over here and everything, and they really do look amazing. I'm just giving you a quick upper value as to what these guys actually look like from the top. I really just cannot say enough how great it is to have all three of these guys in our collection now and everything, you know? Bombshell actually has these really great beady eyes right over here. He is a beetle. His cerebral shell launcher is actually right here prominently. You actually have his blaster right over here. But uh, you actually have like a lot of things that actually differentiate him from shrapnel also and everything. Where you actually have shrapnel's arms going right on the sides right over here. 
his actually go right underneath here and everything and then we actually have just to show you a bit of what the articulation is the three row launcher goes up and down he actually has his buggy feet right over here that actually go up and down as well and everything so that is actually pretty cool and i really like that not a whole lot in the way of articulation as far as these guys are actually concerned and everything you know Ex except for like maybe what we actually have over here in kickback with him being able to like be able to move his hind legs and his forward legs and everything like that you know but this guy is actually super cool we have the purple the animation purple that's actually over here also this is actually the the, noga, the nozzle right over here is just well painted and everything uh we do actually see a lot of his head right over here and everything like that i mean i know that you're not going to notice him when you're actually like just kind of like messing around with him in this mode and everything my one thought would probably be that they could have actually had like a sliding mechanism that went right against the head and everything to actually kind of like block that off a little bit more but aside from that he is looking good you know just a uh, so, uh, just a view from the back right over here he just looks like a mechanical insect and i am loving this guy and since i'm actually just giving a quick review on this guy and everything i uh, figured that i'd actually go on and give you the sizing of what he actually looks like with an autobot here here is bombshell along with clampdown and you can actually see that he is very, very much the deluxe side and everything. Just like a little wee bit shorter and everything more than anything else. But he just really fills that whole entire thing for an auto for uh, being a deluxe bot and everything. So like really just like a fantastic figure. Let's get on into transformation where all the real magic actually happens. And shit! Transforming Bombshell is actually super easy, just like any of the other Insecticons. We're actually just going to start off by removing the weapon. And again, I kind of wish that we could have actually put this on the bottom over here someplace. Or like maybe, uh, I don't know, like the, being able to like peg it on the bottom would have actually been great and everything. I think it would have actually added to the trio altogether and everything. But we are actually going to start off by removing the feet right down here there are a couple of pegs that are actually right on the inside and i don't know if you can actually see it but let me see if i can zero in on it and then we actually have a peg that's actually right over here and a peg that's actually on the inside that actually uh, that pegs right over here and over here and that actually gives it a little bit more security I haven't been able to uh, make that same security peg right over here on this side. It might have something to do with shaving a little bit more of the peg over here and everything in order to make that all work. But once we actually have the arms removed, we can come right over here to the back and we can actually start finagling this out of the way. And there are a couple of other pegs. Uh, we actually have a couple of like pegs right over here that go right onto the inside over here on bombshell. So if this guy is is uh, this guy is actually all about security altogether and everything. So I really love that about this figure. And let me just take you out over here, and then just like our shrapnel, we'll just like extend the legs just like this. We'll close those legs right up. We'll kind of like come over here and we'll flex the feet, separate the legs, and then do a 180 right over here. And now let's just get these out over here. And one of the things that I like about this is that when it actually comes down to the arms, they really peg into the, uh, They I think they're either peg or there's like a snapping mechanism that's actually on the inside. You really feel it when you actually like, when you actually like, uh, pull the arms in and everything so that's actually just so welcome i love that about this figure so once we actually do that we'll take the arms out we'll take the hands out and we'll actually just do that by going in here and taking out the hands and then we'll do this and then we'll take out the hands over here as well easy peasy as can actually be and then right over here we'll actually just bring this down and we'll just secure this right over here and now we actually have bombshell in robot mode 
and he looks amazing. Let's take a good look at this guy. I don't want to say that Bombshell is flawless, but he is pretty freaking flawless in his interpretation here. The one thing that we're actually not going to be able to get over here is we're not going to be able to get the color change of his, uh, of his whole entire upper torso over here, where in the anime, he was actually able to turn gray when he's actually in robot mode, but I don't miss that whatsoever because I always thought that this would have actually looked better in purple and damn it, I'm right. Like, look at this guy. He is just very, very awesome. I love his Cerebro Shell launcher right over here, which is also Blast Effects compatible. And I think one of the perfect Blast Effects they actually have is this one right over here where it's just like, pew. You know, and I think that that's actually really cool. I kind of wish I actually had like more of the electrical kind of uh, blast effects and everything to go along with this. Some people would actually complain that these aren't chromed out or anything like that. And I think that would have actually been a great touch, but I don't have any issues with this whatsoever or anything like that. Uh, this guy is just super fantastic. I love, oh, and over here, I don't know exactly what this is actually for. I don't know if this is actually supposed to be more of a mouth for the beetle mode than anything else, but like I didn't really get a chance to go over this or anything. I also, I kind of wish that this was actually a secondary way to hold in his weapon on his backpack or something like that, because that would have actually been great to actually have like some extra storage here. But he is really, really awesome. I am loving that knights like uh, that knights like face right over here always looks like he's actually in glee of doing some evil you know what i mean like this guy just really takes a cake as far as that's actually concerned uh he actually still carries the same the same uh stomach cockpit thing that all the other insecticons do they all don't open whatsoever but there is a hinge right over here that's actually made for just that so i always wonder if they were actually going to do like a diaclone thing and everything like that and then give us some fan service by actually being able to lift this so they can actually open up and everything but aside from that his colors are really really great dark sinister you know i really love this guy a lot you actually have his primary weapon right over here which looks just like his cerebro shell launcher and everything so that's great and I kinda, i'm really glad that they actually worked out a secondary blaster right over here for him you know so that's extra great but it's not just this only secondary blaster because we also have these insect or uh, these insectoid legs right over here you can actually kind of like pop them off if you actually wanted to to give him like another blaster right over here or through the powers of evil fusion we can actually just kind of like plug this right over here and plug this one right on the ulterior side and that's actually kind of a cool blaster actually i am really digging that blaster a lot each and every part is actually very blast effects compatible so you can actually have like say this right over here but it doesn't really leave a whole lot of room to actually be able to like put out plug other blaster pieces so it's actually kind of like more one at a time more than anything else for this dude you know but like aside from that it does look very very cool even with that i really like this a lot articulation actually goes like this he actually has and just let me clear up the camera for you he actually has a, a turn right over here on his head. He can't really lift up or down or anything like that, but you can actually use this for some functioning and everything, so that's great. He actually has a 360 right over here, uninhibited. He can actually bring his arm out just like so. It goes way up like this. He can actually bring it back also as due to transformation and everything. So if you actually wanted to use that as like another part of articulation, you absolutely can. And it works out spectacularly. He actually has bicep rotation right over here and an arm bend that actually goes a little over 90. He, act, he doesn't have, uh, he actually has an in and out, but doesn't have like, or doesn't have wrist articulation. He has waist rotation right over here. He has the full Kung Fu right over here. So anybody who's actually coming at either side of him and everything like that are blasted right in the chest. 
you know, so that's actually very cool. He can kick up this far, back this far, you know, there's nothing inhibiting this guy whatsoever. He has thigh rotation. You can actually bring his legs all the way up like this, and I mean by the knee, and you can actually have a little bit of a, um, what do you call, ankle tilt right over here, and he actually does have dorsiflexion, so that's actually really great, and he's just a really, really well-rounded Insecticon. I, I found myself really liking this guy a lot straight out of package, and he's not even my favorite Insecticon. I think if I'm actually going to choose like favorite Insecticons, it would most likely be um, it would most likely be Kickback because I've always thought that he was actually like one of the cooler of uh, of the three Insecticons and everything with his giant wings and everything like that. But let me tell you something, I really, really have uh, so far just appreciated how awesome this guy actually is. And in so far as comparisons for our menacing mind controller, here we have Bombshell with Shrapnel and Kickback. And I really, really love this set so much. Jeez, these guys are just really fantastic. And it really is making me await the final completion of the Dinobots and everything with Swoop coming down the line and everything. I really hope that we actually get him soon because I, I just like full complete sets are something that I am just jazzed about. So this is actually super cool. I really highly suggest getting this character all together. If you actually have this set of Insecticons, you are you would probably be a miss at like missing out on bombshell altogether just let me give you one more comparison and i wanted to make sure that i gave you a comparison with an autobot uh, deluxe vehicle here and everything so here we have clamp down and seriously this is just so perfect i really love this guy and when i'm saying i love this guy i'm gonna tell you like one thing that i think is actually just super perfect perfect as can actually be in all of the Transformers collection so far is this trio of Insecticons right over here. These guys are superb looking, great in every single way, looking like you just snatched them right after the anime and everything. It's, a, it's really great. And I think that Bombshell right over here was actually kind of like the one that actually completes everything over here. Just really great. I'm actually even loving all of these panel lines right over here. I mean, he's simple, but really complex at the same time and everything like that. And I really think this guy is actually super cool. I'm going to give you final thoughts in just a moment. Now, I'm not going to say that anything is actually really perfect, but Bombshell over here comes pretty damn close. Bombshell is actually super fantastic. I'm loving everything about this guy. He actually just offsets everything right about the Insecticons. And when I'm saying shift, kiss, mwah, this guy is just phenomenal. I really love this guy a lot. If you actually see him in the stores, just pick him up. I, if you're actually looking to collect the rest of the Insecticons, I know Kickback is actually still out there. I'm pretty sure Shrapnel is actually still out there. And this guy has actually just gotten released and everything. So if you're actually looking for something that's actually fun, this guy is actually one of those guys and everything. The Insecticons are actually the guys that are actually bringing some of the fun into the Decepticon ranks. And I love it. I highly recommend him. I really highly recommend him. And that is it for me for today's particular trip through nerddom. I really appreciate each and every one of you who have actually joined me today once again, proving that nerddom survives everything and that everything good comes in small packages and you cannot get better than what we actually have with the Insecticons. I love it. I know you will too. And again, uh, thanks for joining me. And now it's a mental health check. Make sure that you are treating yourselves excellently. Make sure that you're treating each other out there excellently. Make sure that you're bringing all that love and positivity throughout the whole entire uh, encompassing of the multiverse. And bring it back over here to HQ because I could always use some myself. Remember, treat yourselves amazingly. And as always, when these stop being magical, that's when I'll stop collecting. I definitely look forward to talking to each and every one of you soon.